Hey, it's Joe Lyons from Automator. And a couple years ago, I had shared this tool that helped you not just save your passwords and things like that in a plain text file. And uh, a hero member the other day, Connie, was asking if we had it in V2. And I said, okay, let's, Irfan, let's convert it to V2. And then I realized, you know what, let's, let's add a little more. So let me demonstrate here what I'm talking about. Um, Often, you know, if you're using AutoHotKey, you're probably using hot strings or hot keys to send your password. And what a lot of people do is end up putting their password in plain text in a file, which is, of course, a horrible security risk, right? So this tool, let's say this is my password, which um, would be a horrible password, right? Uh, but I can encode it. Now, again, it's not encrypted. So this is this is this version of this with some sort of a random seed value. And... We provide you with a function to encode and decode this. However, it takes someone with a decent amount of knowledge on AutoHotKey in order to go use, set up these functions and set them up properly. And I asked Irfan, hey, let's let's add some bells and whistles to this to make it a little easier. So what we've done is we've um, looked for a folder. Now, what we like to do is to, you decide the folder you're gonna save it in. And the folder can be anywhere. What I highly recommend is you don't save it where your files are that you'd normally be saving things. So. Even though I never use the My Documents, um, you might go there, and I'm not even sure on my computer because I remove all those settings. All right, so um, I'm navigating to it. So you find your My Documents. I put mine under Dropbox, so that's why it took me a little while to find it. And th this is where, let's say, I'm going to save them in here. So I'm going to select this folder. Um, and then you give it a file. Now, it actually writes it to an any file, but you, we set it up. You can call it file anything you want. So right here it says some DLL. We'll say... What you don't want to do is say password dot any like that'd be horrible, right? What you want to do is obfuscate it so people don't realize. So we'll say um, dig dug dog dot dll. Like who's going to peek into that, right? Now you have to give it a variable name in order to use our tool for this part of it. So let's say variable name is just pat pd one for password one, but it's not very clear that's password one. I'm gonna hit save. And what that's going to do is it's going to go right this encoded value to that folder um, in any file. In here, now, I'm gonna go ahead and select a hotkey, let's say Control-Shift-H, and I'm gonna copy code. So that, and this gives you a little preview here using our Notify class, if you haven't used that, it's a really cool class. So I'm gonna come over here now to Studio, and I'm gonna paste that. And what this does is this uh, puts in our single instance force, you don't have to put force, it's implied now in V2. And we're gonna include this is that function, right? So we gave it a weird name to also kind of obfuscate the purpose. Um, put in the requires, and then here's our hotkey, control shift H. And it reminds you, it's, this is the variable PD1, but we didn't actually use, I think we put it right here is what it's stored in the any file. Um, but it's reading this DLL file with your seed value. And what does that all do? Well, let me save this and run it. Uh-oh. Okay, so that error wasn't actually anything to do with my script. It was Studio. I hadn't saved it as an actual file name, and the temp file was acting a little weird. So anyway, all I did was um, save it as a new file name and then relaunched it. Now, look here. It's um, normally, that it, this is a funny order, but I, I think of things as Control-Shift-H. So it's the same thing. It's just transposed. Um, so I can come in a notepad, and when I hit Control-Shift-H, it's going to send that password that we created with our tool. So this tool, right? So see, that's the same thing. So this is, if we go open this file, let's open the, pop open this file, and I'll actually open that in Notepad. You'll see it's structured as any file, right? You can you can say this is the main section. Here's that PD1, that's the, uh, the, the variable, we're not variable, but this is the key inside the any file. And um, the seed just gets applied with that formula, or function, excuse me. And with the any read, we're reading, and now it's, again, it's a DLL. It says DLL, but it's just a text file, right? So it helps obfuscate it, make it harder to seal. The other thing you might do is, let's say your password was password123. Well, you know what? You could do something like this, encode that. That's actually going to be a whole different thing. Um, I'm going to hit save. Let's see if that, actually, I don't know if that'll update it. Save copy code it actually should be the same code and now when i control shift h 
So there we go. So notice it says password one, two. Now here's my tip to you as a really sneaky way is just remember you need to add that last character to your password. So then I could just hit manually hit three and that way it's really kind of useless unless the person knows the last character of your password. So it's a little bit simpler for you to remember, right? Um, and maybe you even, if you have control of your passwords, you could end all of them in the same character. Of course, then you're back into another security issue. But hopefully you get the idea. Um, I'll put the URL where you can grab this script. It, it Again, it it's not hashing it. It's not storing it in an encrypted way. But it's encoded in a way that makes it much harder. You're not just saving your password straight up as a file like this. That if someone gets it, they will easily have access to your password, right? So hope you enjoyed that. Please like the video. If you learned something, it really helps us out. Uh, these scripts, you know, they take several hours, often each one take hours and hours to create. And every little bit when you, if you do donate, when you download it, it really helps us out. Have a great day. Cheers.